today i'm going to help you on how to improve your experience for both partners now this may be a heterosexual couple this may be a homosexual couple whatever kind of relationship you're in these easy tips and tricks will help enhance your experience during intimacy so let's get started um, we are going to go over three tips today the first one is really the most basic that is not even related to the pelvis we have to remember that some people mostly women of course that is not um, a rule but most people mostly women some men have what is called a responsive sexual drive meaning they require a good amount of foreplay they respond to stressors in the environment meaning if there is a lot of stress in the home a lot of stress at work a lot of things to do in the home before we can shift into intimacy mode their sex drive is going to respond to all of those negative influences and decrease their own sexual experience and also decrease their interest in engaging in sex so if you are in love with someone who has a responsive sexual um, drive you want to make sure that intimacy is starting outside the bedroom so this is my favorite tip make sure you in your head plan when you want to be intimate and again this is because the majority of women have responsive sexual drives whereas more men have spontaneous sexual drive i'm usually telling my men my male clients or i'm telling my female clients who have those wonderful spontaneous sexual drives if you are paired with someone who is not at the same speed as you who is not at the same level or same type of sexual drive as you plan it out and on the day you're planning your intimacy make sure your partner who has a responsive sexual drive has less stress they can be fully present in the bedroom and they are not thinking of work or kids or what to do when you go to the store to shop tomorrow that they are present there in the moment both of you will have a much better sexual experience so once we take care of making sure both partners are fully present in the moment we move on to tip number 2 now this is a very very practical one again it mostly applies to women they have a more responsive sexual drive so men this is a note for you for my heterosexual couples my homosexual or lesbian couples need no explanation here they have very high sexual satisfaction rate for both partners it's in heterosexual couples that women repeatedly and this is not just me or my clients but studies show that women have a lower sexual satisfaction rate in heterosexual relationships so um what can men do to make sure their partner enjoys sex more because if she'll enjoy it she'll want to do it more and then you get to have sex more so it's win 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 right so step 2 is making sure that before you get anywhere close to the vagina you are doing a lot of foreplay so foreplay 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 i could really make all my tips just foreplay but you know this is tip number 2 make sure you do not forget the foreplay and when we think of foreplay we think about i don't know brad pitt and angelina jolie in that movie what was that where they were detectives in a couple and just going hot and heavy that's not real life foreplay in real life for most people who have to worry about kids and work and cleaning the house and doing laundry for most people foreplay needs to be gentle it needs to be loving and it needs to be slow so this is again a tip for all my men out there um who are in relationships with women when you are engaging in foreplay make it as much about your partner as about you so if you like to stimulate your partner's breast make sure you're not twiddling her nipples no one likes that even if she says so if you like to play with the nipples make sure you stimulate the whole breast first we are not going to go into details about foreplay in this video you'll have to watch the other video um in this series on how to hit the four bases for extraordinary sex 
almost every single time. It is almost a foolproof formula. My clients love this method. So you'll have to watch the other video. It will be linked at the end of this one. So anyhow, when you do foreplay, remember life is not like porn. Life is not like the movies. We need to be gentle. We need to be loving. And that is how most women get in the mood for the hot and heavy stuff. So take it easy, take it slow and make sure you stimulate, you work your way south. Don't start down here, start up here. Stroke her face, stroke her lips, kiss her, stimulate the breast gently, caress her whole body. Externally stimulate this region without going too hot and heavy. But yes, more details in the next video, so definitely do watch that. So once we got foreplay out of the way, here are things that you can do during sex to improve the experience and now I know it's mostly going to be um, my male um, male audience or guys watching this so this is a part where you bring your partner in your wife or your girlfriend and make sure she sees this because this is going to be mind-blowing for her and for you so this is some magic that women can create during pregnancy oh, oh my goodness not during pregnancy during sex it definitely works during pregnancy also makes up for fabulous sex anyhow so two easy things the one simple trick she can do is that when the man is inside the vagina like the penis is inside the woman can take two fingers in the form of a V and place them just outside the lips now what does this do for the man he gets the feeling of tightness as he goes into the, into the vagina but he gets the extra pressure from the fingers on the outside now when she puts the fingers on the outside of the vagina or she puts her fingers here she wants to press down a tiny bit you're not pushing you're not using too much pressure and once she feels comfortable she can gently stroke up and down up and down she can do little circles whatever her body tells her feels good she can do and this is important because guess what lies down there the clitoris lives down there so this little tip that is just a tip of the clitoris this blue part running under this muscle and this blue part is also part of the clitoris so when she puts pressure here and gently stimulates it it is going to cause the clitoris to enlarge and swell so just like the penis, the clitoris swells when someone's sexually aroused. So men, here's the win-win again. You get the pressure, the additional pressure on the outside on your penis from her fingers. But as your partner starts stimulating her clitoris, guess what happens to this nice blue stuff? That starts enlarging and, when, and men feel an extra squeezing pressure from the inside not a true squeeze but like something swelled up and is giving them more pressure so it really improves pleasure for men that's tip number 3.1 <laughs> so 3.2 and this is all women women our bodies are fabulous we are designed for pleasure we can experience more orgasms stronger orgasms we can experience orgasms in more ways than men so here is one way to improve your pleasure while improving pleasure for your male partner and for my lesbian couples yes depending on if you're using fingers with a device like a strap on it may not be as pleasurable for the penetrating partner of course she will enjoy just how much the receiving partner is loving this right so imagine we are laying in a missionary position meaning this is someone's pelvis their hip area so when they lie down on a bed they're going to be in this position and this technique can be used in any position it's easiest to try this when you're on your back for the first time right so this is the woman from the side when she is flat on her back now you see this big bone the pubic bone this is right over the vagina when the penis is going in or a strap on what it does is it curves up and in so if the woman does a little pelvic tilting or pelvic rolling which means she goes up and down up and down then what happens is the penis gets additional pressure from this bone by rubbing that bone gently up and down on the penis feels wonderful for the male partner 
and women guess what lives down there the g spot where your clitoris comes together right under that bone we have a lot of nerves there we don't have 8000 nerves or whatever you know i don't know buzzfeed was telling you but we have a lot of nerves down there and that extra stimulation of your partner's penis under the bone really maximizes the sexual experience now for someone who has never used this technique before you can think you can think of your tailbone which is at between between your butt cheeks your tailbone it's also a little close to your anal opening so when you're flat on your back you can think i'm bringing my tailbone up i'm bringing my tailbone down bringing my tailbone up bringing my tailbone down and that will improve pleasure for both partners in a in any couple honestly like i said in the heterosexual couple it will cause direct pleasure for the man it will cause direct pleasure for the woman and in a homosexual couple the person who is either using fingers or a strap on will still experience pleasure because their partner is having such a wonderful time so to quickly summarize the three tips for improving pleasure and having a fabulous sexual experience every single time is a remember your partner's sexual drive type if they are spontaneous or if they are responsive and if they are responsive then make sure they are relaxed before they come into the bedroom point number 2 was for play for play for play and watch the other video to learn more tips and number 3 is these little tricks i just taught you one is pressure over the vagina the walls of the vagina or the vulva and number 2 was your gentle pelvic rocking i hope this was helpful i love to bring tips such as these to improve the experience of people of all genders with their sexuality i want all people to feel comfortable pain free not have leaking and just have the time of their lives because we have just the one life to do it right so i hope you enjoyed this be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos and let me know what you think in the comments if this was helpful i am glad to bring you more content just like this wishing you all the very best have fun and let me know how it went bye